Good morning, Colts. I'm your anchor, Michael. And I'm your anchor, Alessio, and this is KTV for March 28th, 2024. Hey, Kenworth. Glad you're talking about the last episode. We at KTV agree it was a little spicy, but as your every other day news show, we needed a little fire to remind us that we are charged with an important task. Yes, we are the news show. We are a part of the culture at Kenworth, and we are supposed to give important announcements and reminders about the happenings at KJHS as well as what it means to be a cult. That means how to act, how to participate, and how to celebrate cult accomplishments. And for that, we are sorry if we offended anyone except Mr. Mori. That's right. Today's show is brought to you by Mr. Mori's sunglasses. Hey, Mori, the 90s called, and they want their Oakleys back. Hey, Alessio, are you going to the Washington, D.C. trip this summer? If you are, make sure you completely read the emergency form and behavior contract. Return the completed form to Mr. Eklund in room 30. Definitely not. I'm broke. But I heard that it will be a fun trip. You know what else is fun? Fun Friday. This week's Fun Friday will be a jump rope in the small quad. I'm too tired to jump rope on Friday. And I also don't want to talk. So here's a video about the families of the ELAC community. Familias de la comunidad ELAC, favor de acordar a sus padres que el viernes 5 de abril es la próxima junta de ELAC en el Salón 23 a las 8 de la mañana. Viene Elias Careno del Colegio de Santa Rosa para hablar sobre las oportunidades que ofrece el Colegio Comunitario aquí en Petaluma y Santa Rosa. Habrá pastelitos y café. Bebes y niños pequeños están bienvenidos. Nos vemos el viernes. W video, but what isn't a W is getting detention. I've got to serve that today in room 14 from 2.30 to 3.30. That's too bad. I had to serve mine on Tuesday. In detention, you can't sleep, use your phone, or leave. You also have to be silent. That's a lot of things I can't do, but you can't read a book, do homework, or sit in silence. Right? If you don't follow the rules, you'll get kicked out of detention, and you'll get a second one. I didn't see you yesterday at lunch, so I visited the book club. It's hosted every other Wednesday and is pretty interesting. First, you know how to get lunch. What's for lunch today anyway? Lunch for today is teriyaki chicken, hot dogs and pupusas, along with sandwiches and salads. Sanjeet has crafted a wonderful PSA. Let's watch it. Who is Sophia Smith? Sophia Smith is a 23-year-old woman who, who plays in the National Women's Soccer League. She has won herself U.S. Women's Soccer Player of the Year at just 22 years old. She's a prolific goal scorer, the U.S. Soccer Female Player of the Year, the MVP of the National Women's Soccer League, and helped her team, the Portland Thorns, to the NWSL title last year. Smith was inspired by Abby Wambach, a retired soccer player, to pursue her soccer career. I think we forgot something, probably sports. So let's go to the sports corner with Lucy to see the latest sports news. Good morning, Colts. I'm Mary Anchor Luciana, and this is a Sports Corner. There's a track meet today at Casa Grande. Good luck, Colts. In college news, there are four March Madness games playing today. The Arizona Wildcats will play the Clements and Tigers at 4:10. The, then the Yukon Huskies will play the San Diego State Aztecs at 4:40. At 6:40, the Alabama Crimson Tides will play the North Carolina Tar Heels. And for the final game of the day, Illinois will play Iowa State at 7:10. That's all for the sports today, so let's head back to Al Alessio and Michael in the studio. Thanks, Lucy. That was Sigma. I heard there's another video we have to play by Dylan on the Three Mile Island accident. At 4 a.m. on March 28, 1979, the worst accident in the history of U.S. nuclear power industry began when a pressure valve in the Unit 2 reactor at Three Mile Island failed to close. Water that was used to cool the reactor got contaminated with radiation drained from the open valve into adjoining buildings, and the core began to dangerously overheat. After the cooling water began to drain out of the broken pressure valve on the morning of March 28, 1979, emergency cooling pumps automatically went into operation. Eventually, the reactor was cooled and no one was hurt. Why has the weather been so weird recently? I really hope the weather studio can predict it with Lucila.
Welcome to the Weather Studio. Good morning, Colts. I'm your weather anchor, Lucila, and this is the Weather Studio. The weather for the week is going to have a chance of rain and with a chance of storms on Saturday. The temperature for the week will be from 53 degrees to 62 degrees. It'll be both chilly and rainy, so make sure you bring your raincoat. Hey, Colts, where's a place that's wet but you wouldn't bring an umbrella? Under the water, because you can't swim a with an umbrella. That was a knee knocker, Colts. Now back to the KTV studio. Thanks, Lucila. While I was on my way to the library, I almost accidentally went through the science hallway between room 15 and 16 during lunch, but I remembered we can't go in there. I didn't know that the hallway was closed. Well, I got my detention now, so that's all for today. And, and that's, that's KTV. KTV.